Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, Apple Drains does a lot more than just French drains and, you know, waterproofing. We're a drainage contracting company. So we're out here and we're underneath of a mobile home and they have a sewer backup. Of course, when they signed up online and they said, you know, they've got a drainage problem, we don't really know. Um, when we call them up, they say, yeah, we have a drainage problem. So we're out here. Luckily, we can take care of this because we do so much more than French drains. Take a look at the problem. So here's a quick toilet review. See how the water doesn't go down in the toilet. So earlier I showed you guys how to unstop the toilet, but if you look carefully, you'll see that water coming up over here in the shower stall as well. So we know that the stoppage is not in the shower because it's coming up through it. And we also know that it's not in the toilet. Although it looks like it is, you know, it backed up and looks like it's going to overflow. That stoppage, when water comes up in the lowest point, this case is the shower or it could be a tub. But the, when the water, when you flush that toilet and that water comes up in your shower or your toilet, you know it's in the main sewer line. So let's go down below and take a look. You know, Apple Drains does a lot more than just rainwater drainage. We're a full drainage company, so we do a lot of sewer and drain work as well, plumbing, those type of things. But we are underneath the crawl space here. I showed you what's happening above, and this home is on a septic tank. So the stoppage, I think, is from here to the tank. And I'd love to run the jetter, but it would fill up their tank. So what we're going to do is go ahead and pull this clean, off, clean out cap off and be prepared there could be a lot of water in here so i'm going to step back so you can see all that sewage coming out so i think the stoppage is from here to the tank i'm going to send a cable down through there to clean this out so we're just going to let that run for a little while i'm just going to use a small hand stick and see if we can't un unclog this I bet you we can. Let's just see. See if it gets in there. Yeah. And just see if we can't crank through there. Yeah, it's right there. Right there is the stoppage. So we'll get a little closer. Lock that cable down. Yep, now we can push right through there, piece of cake. Then we'll put some more cable in there and just push it, make sure it's open, yeah. So, real simple to do. Now I'm just gonna pull it back. Remember to keep your gloves on. So now we're gonna put the cleanup cap back on. We'll go upstairs and we'll flush it again and also check that tub line. So you can see it right away. That little section of line that I cleaned from the clean out to the septic tank was not the problem. So I did not see another clean out downstairs. So we're going to have to cut the line and we'll probably put a no hub for future access. So let's take a look at the plumbing. Here is the toilet line coming down from up above. And you can see there's a vent. See the vent line that goes straight up? A lot of turns in this line. And I would imagine that stoppage is going to be, oh, you can see a belly there as well. So I'll bet you that stoppage is right there in the belly. Remember that we already tried to clean the line from this clean out. That line goes straight down to the septic tank. But the stoppage was not there. So we need to create an access because there is no clean out on this section of the pipe. We could pull the toilet, but they do need an access. So right there, I'm going to go ahead and put a no hub. I'm going to cut that pipe with a Sawzall and we'll put a no hub on there for future access. This is something you guys can do. It's very easy. Yeah, it's going to make a mess when I cut that line. There's going to be a lot of water and waste that's going to come out. So bring some buckets and just catch it as it falls. Cost of this uh, project, six bucks. Something you can easily do. 
Okay, I know it's hard to see me down here because it's really a tight, cramped space underneath a mobile home. But what I've got is a couple of buckets. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut this line right here and let this drain out. Start with that. we got to get it ready to work on. So we're going to use a Sawzall and we just cut right through it. Take a look. Set up your buckets and be ready for the flood. Okay, so you can note, note right away, water coming back down the line. We know the stoppage is from here, that way, and it's probably just to this corner, because it's empty over there. And then, just using a regular hand snake, I can solve this problem. Yeah, that problem's right there. I can feel it. It hits a stoppage. This has a little locking me mechanism on it, and you just crank it. It'll go right through. Yep. There it is. Coming right out. Yeah, it's all waste. But that's the problem. You see it. There's a whole bunch of waste down that line. But just a little hand snake can solve that problem. So, this is a no-hub coupling. It's a hard piece of rubber with stainless steel clamps. And what I'm going to do is force it onto this line and push it back all the way so that I can push them together. Now I can just slide the coupling right over top of it. And then we'll tighten up these no hubs with our handy dandy drill. Start with this first one. Get your 5 16 inch nut driver. And just as tight as that drill can make it. Make sure your clutch is set. There you go. Next one. So, it only took a couple of seconds to do this, you guys. And, uh, hey, you can do this. Keep your smile. If you have to make this repair, yeah, it's a, it's a nasty little job. But it didn't cost but that little tool right there. You can buy one of those uh, hand snakes for $9. <laughs> and the no-hub is 6 bucks, And you're done. So they sprayed some disinfectant in here and kind of cleaned it up. I'm going to really clean their toilet for them. That's, you know, something I'd like to do. Um, no charge. And I'll show you guys a product that works really good to get rid of hard water deposits. And that's what those are. As well as in the shower. Uh, this stuff works really good. Let's go ahead and flush this. See what kind of... Oh yeah. You can see it's working great. So, real simple repair. Costs six bucks. I uh, hope that you guys can use that for your future DIY. Well, really the hardest part of this job was you know, bringing back all the your tools to get back there. The part uh, was six dollars. Um, that's it. You know, cut the line. I had a hand crank snake. I would love to bring my Spartan 1065. You've seen that we clean the downspout drains and the French drains with that thing. That thing's super strong, but there's no way to get it back here. So yeah, there's smaller machines that we could have brought back, but the hand snake worked fine. It cost, uh, what, $9 at Home Depot or Lowe's, and you can solve this problem. You don't need all these fancy things, and you can solve it the proper way. I've showed you guys this product before, and it's available at Walmart. I'm sure you can find it other places, but it costs about five bucks, and I mean, it works so good. I'm just going to spray a little bit right in here just to kind of show you, let it... Let it do its magic right in here. That little spot right there at the top, that one's pretty bad. That one's going to take a little bit of scrubbing as well. But look, look at where I, you can see the difference right away. It just takes this hard water right off of here. 
And if we just let it set in the toilet, it's going to clean up down in the bottom. It'll go through the water as well. Look at this. This is just amazing. I'm just going to let it run right there. You can watch it. I mean, it's just amazing what that stuff does. It is truly amazing. Very good product. I don't make anything off of that. Um, what's it called? Rust Stain Remover um, by Wink. And, I mean, you can see it. Rust Stain Remover by Wink. And you can find it at Walmart. So, here in their shower, you can see the hard water. Let's just go ahead and, I mean, you can see it. It just cuts it right off of there. Look at that. We'll have to use the sponge on it, but I'll get that all clean for them. And wow, look at that. It's like brand new. <laughs> we'll hit the bottom floor, let it set up for a few minutes. Oops. Hit the bottom, let it set up. I'm going to use the whole bottle in here. Because it works so good. <laughs> it's just amazing. <laughs> you don't even have to scrub. You can just squirt it out. But we'll scrub that too. And I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's just amazing. Just amazing. And again, that product is called Rust Stain Remover by Wink, and you can find it at Walmart. So yeah, I got on my neon green sweatshirt because it's really cold outside. Um, remember where we are. We're here in Orlando, and we are working on a sewer lot. We fixed this problem, and it's almost Valentine's Day. <laughs> I had a comment saying we should buy our, our baby a uh, Zoller pump. I thought that was cool. But So now what you got to do is you got to buy a no-hub adapter for six bucks and that'll really make that woman happy <laughs> hey this is chuck with apple trains reminding you that if you believe you can do something i guarantee you can do it have a great day So by now you've probably heard about the coronavirus. You know, these girls are in Singapore and they're just as happy as can be and they are protecting themselves by washing their hands often and wearing a mask. What a great group of girls. Apple Drains is a proud sponsor of these caregivers.